G'day everyone, Goober here with another Torchlight SS6 video. Um, this one is going to be a follow on from yesterday's Time Mark 7 to Boss Rush with a Time Mark 8 0 Boss Rush, same strategy but in Time Mark 8 0. Um, this is the result from yesterday's, um, so I'll just quickly update um, with how many beacons I just bought. So I've got 35 Time Mark 8 beacons, um, and the cost is a lot more, however you get a lot more from the League mechanic. It does cost twice as many pages, so you're doing half as many, but I believe that the, uh, the results will speak for themselves. Um, and we'll see how we go. So I'll try and keep this as similar to the last video as possible. Let's quickly have a look at the void chart just to refresh everyone's memory. We have two points in here because why not? Uh, on to black sail. This is the wrong void chart. Let me load up the right one because it is this one. That is the other one that I was just running maps on. Um, so in here we have black sail. I'm not too sure about the stuff on the side here, uh, but if it activates a second time, then uh, that's a bonus. So I guess that is still pretty okay in time mark eight. Uh, these might be better in T8, um, but I will leave it the same as before anyway. So going on, we have chance for black sail and the threads to appear. Uh, going on to the um, nether realm. So we had points in the nether realm resonance because they don't really drop much in time mark 7-2. They do drop a little bit more often in 8-0, so you don't really need these points. However, I want it to be the same. Um, I do have an extra point there that I'm not going to put in. Same reason. Um, on to the beacons. It would be nice to just chuck it in there, but that'd be cheating. I'll do that after for some extra farming. Beacons, chance for beacons to drop. Um, I was going to include a compass, but I just remembered this is a no compass build. Um, so I'll have to remove the soldier compass from that. And this is the chance for all of the good compasses to drop as well. Might, Mech, and Cube are all worth a ton if you get the good one. Dark Surge was, but it's uh, falling off the face of the earth, so it's not that fantastic anymore. Uh, so that is the Void chart, with the Profounds being Star Shards and uh, Extra Base Affixes. And the strategy is we will just reset this. This is on time mark 8.0. I had to check because I was running 8.2s accidentally before. Um, I'll reset this just so it's definitely reset. And we'll be running Confession Chapel just over and over again. We're not chasing the cards. We're just boss rushing. So we'll see how many of these 35 we can get through oh, excuse me. in an hour. And uh, I'll see you in a second. Alrighty, we've got the timer going. Uh, let's just start it off. We'll remove this because that will ruin our uh, runs. I'm not going to put any um, Nether Realm Resonance in. However, uh, if you're doing this, I would suggest doing three. So you're using seven Nether Realm Resonance every map, uh, as you should be able to sustain that uh, using this strategy. So we'll go through. Uh, I did just buy a new chest, but I realized that I probably need the auto restart on the Twilight Vestment. Why did that not give me Black Sail? I must need to do one of the cards for this to work. Be right back. Oh, no, it's there. I was expecting dream <laughs> I've been running dream so it's still good uh, we'll just load this up kill the black sails we're doing about 2 billion DPS which is pretty cool we do have the uh, what am I building nothing cool go the hero memories 
Memory scraps might be nice, but might as well go with Hero Memories since we're in Time Mark 8. And I would like to get a uh, another red that is good. Or a red that is good. I have been getting reds, but they haven't been good. Um, so anyway, I'll stop crapping on and I'll see you in a bit. Alrighty, filled up the painting, so not a great one, but uh, it is time mark 8, so it's probably not going to be too bad. I really hate those ones, so if I can avoid it, I will avoid it. Um, but anyway, I won't bore you with this part. Alrighty, so we've got a single T7 and a 6 and stuff, so it's not the best one, but uh, we'll see what it's like. We've got a times 2 there, we didn't get lucky. But uh, should be right. I've only had a couple of FE drops so far, so two FE. We'll see what we get. Might as well watch the rainbow one, I guess. <laughs> wow, that was extremely underwhelming. <laughs> Alrighty, that was probably the most underwhelming painting I've done in days. I got uh, 10 FE from that. That's horrendous. Alrighty, for some reason, this is the first... First one? That I've done in 17 minutes? I don't know if my computer's lagging or my brain's lagging. But I should have had one done in, you know, 5 minutes or so. But anyway... It is what it is. We'll see how we go. 1FE, Void C. Don't know which one, if any of those are good. Because uh, the loot filter for it is just missing half the info <laughs> that you need. Uh, anywho, back to it. Alrighty, we got number two again. Uh, I think that was about five or six minutes between these two. Stand over here and kill her. Uh, yep. I win, she loses. So we get, should get a bunch of memory scraps, hopefully. 89, not too bad. Whole bunch of um, hero memories as well. And I'll check them out at the end. Alrighty, we've got another um, painting. We're only on 22 FE. Whew. Guess we'll do the rainbow one. Pretty easy. Is that 11 FE? Yeah, it was alright. Well, that was another pretty disappointing painting, to be honest. Um, I swear every painting that I did yesterday in T8 was uh, better than those ones. Wow. Anyway, that's RNG. Oops, I forgot to do this. Went to do another one and I still had one up. Die, thank you. So we get. I don't even remember what I was building in this one, but uh, 51 scraps and some stuff. Now I have to go back in that map. See how the rainbow goes. Hopefully the loot's okay. So rainbow gets the little douches around the uh, thing, does it? I mean, they still die instantly, so who cares, but... Hopefully we get at least a stack of 10, you know? Please. Please give me 10, or 20, or 50. Give me a 50. Stack of 50 would be nice. Alright, Three FE. Ugh. A hot tip from the last video. The frozen canvas map is not bound. Bind it to something. Maybe, um... Uh, M's fine. I don't want to get confused. Much easier. Anywho. You can watch this one, because why not? And then I'll pause it again. 
Why am I lagging so much? Hopefully the video is okay. That was better than the uh, rainbow. Another Void Bride. See how this one goes. My inventory must almost be getting full, surely. Surely. Twenty six scraps. Not fantastic. I really wish we could uh, filter those properly so I can make, you know, the red ones stand out. But uh, hopefully that comes in a future patch. Roddy, got one more of these. Uh, I doubt I'll get another one before the hour's up. But I'll keep it going either way. Only got two minutes left anyway. It's probably like a one more map. Five of those, not too bad. Alrighty, let's stop this one there. It's got 30 seconds to go. I am in the middle of building a um, a dream that was within that aspect there. Excuse me. That was a massive sneeze. Um, so I'll go through the loot, see if we got any... We didn't get any reds, which is a shame. Um, max life damage, that might be okay-ish. Um, shame we can't search by the max life as well. That would be too useful. Um, maybe if we go uh, rarity epic, base life, max life. So 20 flame elementium for that one. Not too bad. That one's got minion crit and ours had something. Um, that's damage spell block. Damage minion crit, and ours had damage skill area, maybe, maybe not. Uh, and a couple of others that aren't tier one either, and neither are awesome stats. I doubt any of these were any good for us because they didn't appear special in the loot filter. Then the rest is just whatever. Uh, I'll ID all these. Nothing screams at me as being great. Uh, that used to be awesome. I'm not sure what this is. No good. This used to be good. Not anymore. And the rest of that is just garbage. Unfortunate that nothing there is good. Uh, no good slates. So we'll just recycle that. Oh! Ah, the memory was good, you moron. Ah, God. Oh, there goes 20 flame elementium that I could have had. Uh, we had 74 FE drop, flame sand, whatever. Uh, it's worthless. A few embers. Nothing else on there really stands out. This stands out a bit, I guess. That's two, two and a half flame elementium each. Um... I really wish there was something to do with that, but there's not. 383 memory scraps, so another 38 flame elementium there. 38 plus, you know, 40 or so. I'll do the tally up in a minute. Any good... Oh, well, we got a Void Seed Craving. That's 12. That's come down so much, it's crazy. This might be worth... Oh, 5, okay. 3... We've got 32 star shards, so 20 FE or so. The rest of that doesn't count. These count, though. So, wow, 1.5. Nuts. Two. Um, anyway, I'll do the spreadsheet. Be right back. Alrighty, not the result we were hoping for. Probably would have been a little bit better if we didn't salvage that uh, hero memory. But I did, so I'm not going to include it. Um... So, not a huge amount of uh, profit over the 7-2 map. 7-2 uh, is a lot less stressful, I guess. Uh, a lot easier. You've got no chance of dying, basically. So, you get all the XP in the world. So, only 233 Flame Elementium an hour. I guess if you did this for 5 hours, that's 1,000 FE, which isn't too bad. Excuse me. Um, 
but you are farming for uh, you, you've got a lot more items I guess in this one the uh, the compasses are a fair bit <clears throat> this time 40 FE the cost was a lot higher because the beacons cost about three times as much um, <clears throat> uh, but overall it's still better so if you can farm T8 then farm T8 um, I will keep this video going and I'll switch to my um, dream setup to finish off that dream omen uh, just to show you the loot from that uh, and how beneficial dream is in comparison obviously if you get a good hero memory this is going to be mega profitable I didn't get anything so well, I got the 20 but you can get ones that are worth two and a half thousand so you know if you're hunting for that it's good to go 200 probably minimum fe an hour um so if you get something good kudos you'll uh you'll crack it and uh i will pause this now and see you when the dream is ready man it triggered at 15 percent that's just troll um changes to type removes the purple and adds a purple let's just upgrade it by that so this might still be decent but i was hoping to get convert to uh commodity and then that would have been insane but we'll see what the loot's like at the end that was actually mega disappointing that i couldn't convert those but anyway them's the breaks that's all for this video if you enjoyed it like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one Ah, oh, you might as well watch this map. Maybe we'll get lucky in this map, you know? Give me a beacon chest, please. Beacon chest. Although, is that even in this spec? I don't think it is. So the beacon chest won't happen. Or will it? Will it or won't it? I can't remember. 8-0. Please die. Oh, one FE. Better than nothing, I guess. Oh, you mother! How rude. Downsides to not having blink, you know? Now I'm slow. Gosh. Disappointing end to a disappointing hour. Cheers.